Hi guys, so I have an extra video for this week. I've recreated Beyonce's makeup look that she wore in the Coldplay Him for the Weekend music video. So if you want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm first going to take my Naked Skin Concealer to act as a canvas and this just really helps to pre prevent creasing and I'm just blending this with my Beauty Blender. Then I'm going to grab this fudge eyeshadow from my Anastasia Shadow Couture palette and I'm going to use this as a crease colour and really blend this with a fluffy brush. Next I'm going to grab Noir from the palette and use this on the outer corner and I'm just really blending this into the brown, well the fudge shade. I didn't bring the eyeshadow too far out because I didn't want it to be like a super big wing or anything. I just blended it out a bit. Next I'm going to grab this shade metallic from the same palette and I'm actually going to apply it on a flat brush and then wet it with some of my Smashbox primer water and this just really helps to get a better colour payoff. It just makes the colour look really really intense and vibrant and this shade is like a rusty gold and I feel like it was a really great match to what Beyonce was wearing in the music video. And then I'm just taking my other brush that I use for the black and kind of blending and softening all the edges. I then took a small fluffy angled brush to add some noir into the inner corner. I didn't want anything too harsh, I just wanted a really blended bit in the inner corner because from the picture I could tell that there was some black eyeshadow in the inner corner as well. So I was just making sure that everything is nicely blended with that little brush. Now onto skin, I'm going to grab my La Roche-Posay Hydrian Riche Moisturiser. I recently got this and I really think it moisturises my skin well, so I found a new moisturiser that I like. And then I'm going to quickly prime my face with my Smashbox Primer Water, just to add more moisture and that my makeup stays on nicely. Then I'm going to go on to colour correcting. I'm using my LA Girl Orange Corrector and I'm just applying some around my mouth area and also under my eyes just to con well correct any dark circles and also the hyperpigmentation around my mouth area. I just blend this with my finger, make sure to blend it really nicely so it doesn't really mix in with your foundation and you don't want your foundation to look orange. Um, but yeah, I did apply a bit too much under my eyes but I'm just going to deal with it. Now for foundation I'm going to use my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade Toasty Toffee. I haven't used this in a while but um, I'm just going to blend this into my skin with my damp beauty blender. This foundation just gives it a really really flawless finish like my two favorite foundations my Nars Sheer Glow and this one. Then for concealer I'm going to use my NYX Gotcha Covered concealer in the shade Golden. I'm just going to apply this under my eyes and blend with my Beauty Blender. I did also apply some on my nose and onto my forehead. This concealer has a dewy finish, I really like it but you really need to set it with a good powder because um, as you can see it's quite shiny but I really like the coverage and the shade of this concealer. I'm also going to add some of my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay just closer to my lash line just to cover the orange bit and then I'm going to grab my Sleek Bare Kissed Illuminator in Monaco and I'm actually going to dot this onto my cheekbones and onto my nose and my forehead. I wanted to do this before I set in my concealer because you don't want to apply this on top of powder. I feel like it, it doesn't look nice if you put it on powder. And then I'm just blending that in with my Damp Beauty Blender again. And this just gives a really really nice glow to your skin. So when I'm done with that, I'm just going to grab my Ben Nye Banana Powder and set in my concealer. You don't want to apply it on top of the highlight, try and just put the powder on under your eye area. This is just going to help your concealer stay on longer and it won't crease at all because this powder is so good. I'm also just setting my smile lines so I don't get any smile lines throughout the day. 
and I also took some noir and added this on my lower lash line I'm also going to grab this eyeliner pencil by Primark, it's a jet black one and I'm going to line my lower waterline and also tight line as well. It looks kind of weird but it really just makes a difference in my opinion so that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm going to do my lashes, I'm using the um, new Maybelline Push Up Drama Mascara, I really love it, it's so good, like it just makes your lashes look so nice and I don't know, I think it might be better than the Lash Sensational but let me work with it a bit more, but yeah. So now I'm just going to go on to con contouring, I'm using this Makeup Forever Cream Camouflage Palette and I'm just using the two very dark shades to kind of contour my face. I'm using some on like under my cheekbones and my forehead and some on my nose. I kind of contoured my nose as well. And then again I'm going to take my damp beauty blender to blend this all in. You really want to make sure that everything is blended because you don't want any harsh lines and it's really easy to get like a weird line on your face so I was just making sure to really blend everything in. Just to set that contour in, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Ultra Contour Palette and I took that cool tone brown shade and just applied that on top of the contour just to set that in. I also took a flat eyeshadow brush, well it was quite kind of fluffy and kind of uh, did a bit more contouring around my nose. I've kind of been into this lately, I never used to do it but now I just really like how it looks. Then for highlighter, I'm going to use this Makeup Revolution Radiant Light Highlighter in Glow and it's really easy to like apply this product, it doesn't apply ashy or anything, I just really like it. And then for my lips, I'm going to use this lip liner by LA Colors, it's in the shade Dark Brown. I'm just lining my lips and also filling it in with this pencil. The shade that I managed to achieve isn't exactly the same as what Beyonce was wearing in the clip but I think it was quite kind of close. Um, I did take my Maybelline Matte Lipstick in the shade Divine Wine and applied a bit of that on top and kind of blended it in with my finger. And then I also took my Makeup Revolution Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Velvet Vamp and I just applied a dot of that and blended that in and I feel like that just gave the burgundy brownie reddish tone that she was wearing. I then wanted to add a bit more colour to my face because Beyonce looked really bronzed up in the mu music video so I just used my NYX matte bronzer in the shade deep and just quickly bronzed up my skin and then I just set everything in with my Smashbox primer water and that's all I did for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. For more videos there will be a Valentine's makeup tutorial tomorrow. This is just an extra video for this week but I hope you liked it and I'll see you all in my next video, bye!